Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at Euclidean geometry. At this point we have proven the theorem that states two tangents draw from, uh, drawn from a point and uh, well, from the same point outside the circle are equal in length. Hence, A, in other words, AT is equal to TB or BT. Okay, we've proven that formula. I haven't seen this formula come in the exam. Okay, but there's a star there, so I did it anyway. Okay, however, this formula, this proof can be found in the description box below. Okay, then we said that if you are given two tangents, we can conclude that PQ is equal to RQY, tangents from common point. Okay. Then we went on to 9.9, uh, nine, uh, sorry, theorem 9. The angle between a tangent to a circle and a chord drawn from the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. This is what uh, the, the tan chord theorem, this theorem is worth 6, mark, six or 7 marks. This is the big one. Eh? So again, we have proven this theorem. Okay, I've shown you how to prove it. The link to this theorem will be found in the description box below. Okay, it will be the same one. I think it's uh, towards the end of the video, but I will put it in there as well. Okay. Remember that all three um, Euclidean geometry proofs, you need to do a construction first. No construction, no marks, of course. Okay. And if you use this theorem, remember that if you've got triangle ABC, and we've got a tangent drawn at point A, then we can conclude that this angle here, which is CAN, is equal to angle B. And the, and the re reason for that is tan chord theorem. Okay. The converse is also true, and we spoke about that as well. No? So we talk about common tangents. The common tangents are drawn as follows. These circles start internally at A. There's the, in uh, the case of B touches externally at A, in the case of the third, is going to be a common tangent, however, it, the two circles doesn't intersect. Okay, but it still can be a common tangent. Right, now it brings us to the business end of the deal. Right, so here we are told that, where's my marker? No marker. Let's put one quickly in. So that we know where we are. Man. We need to have one. Okay, so this is grade. Which grade are you guys? 11, isn't it? Grade 11, PP. Um, geometry. Chapter 9. What do I normally have? Examples for exercise. And these are the examples for exercise. 9.6, which is on page 306. The example is on 306, no? Example so 1 on page 306. Spending a lot of time on geometry, no? Right, so here we go. So we are told that in the accompanying diagram, A, B is a diameter. People, if A, B is a diameter, what do we know? Many things he says. <laughs> but if AB is your diameter, then the, the combination of angle C and the C uh, two and three is ninety. Why? Angle in semicircle. Okay. Then we are told that PCQ is a tangent. PCQ is a tangent. What do we know from D? That C four is equal to angle D, which is also equal to angle A. Why? Tan code theorem. That's the one we just did now. Spoke about. 
ok? Then we call that AC, ok? True, if you, if you first go with that is tan core theorem, then you can go with angles in the same segment, which is absolutely correct, ok? Or you could have said first tan core to, to A, and then D is angles in the same segment. Or you can go both angles in the same segment, ok? We are told that AC, CB, uh, CD, and BD are drawn. We are told that C3 is 42, C4 is 33. Calculate C2. So what did you say? This is going to be 90 degrees, not so. So what are you going to say? Angle C2 plus 42 is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Angle in semicircle. So angle C2 is equal to 90 minus 42, which is 48 degrees. Okay, let's look at B. B wants angle A. And we spoke about angle A already, not so? Yes. So angle A is 33 degrees. Why is angle A 33 degrees? 10 chord here. Okay. Let's look at so we got that one already. Let me take that one out. Angle D and angle C. Whoops. People, please, please don't talk in the background, if you don't mind. No? Be highly appreciated if you don't speak to each other. C. C asks you to calculate D. Are you going to calculate D? Angles in the same segment or tempo here. So D is 33 degrees, angles in, same, C. And it's coming from R, C, B. Okay. And then the last question, which is D, that asks you to work out, C1. Are you going to calculate C1? Some of the, some of the, some of the triangles, you're going to get B1, the 10 for theorem, but it's an easier way. Angles in the same way. So angle C1 is equal to 180 minus 90, which is this angle here, minus 33. Or you could have said 180 minus 48 minus 42 minus 33. It's the same thing. And the reason is angles are the straight line. So angle C1 is equal to 57 degrees. Is there any confusion there? Huh? No? Let's look at example 2. It's on page 300 then. The full lesson can be found in the description box below. Okay. So here we are told that ACD is a tangent. People, if AC, ACD is a tangent, what do we know? This is a tangent, what do we know? C2 is equal to angle E, why? Tan core theorem. Angle C4 is equal to angle F2, why? Tan core theorem. Sorry? It was going to work anyway. Sorry? Remember the theorem that we proved in our previous lesson? Is that if that is the case, we've got TAN, and I think that was BNA, uh, BNC. Then this angle here would be equal to that angle. The tangent to the chord will be equal to the, the angle in the alternate segment, in the other segment. Okay? And then this one here will be equal to angle C. So here's your tangent. 
Leer je triangle. So this angle here has to be equal to this angle here. While C4 has to be equal to F2. Okay, that's exactly this here. This one is here. Okay. Then you tell that angle A, sorry, AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC. People, if that's the case, what do we know? The angle B is equal to angle C1. Angles opposite equal sides. Then we are told that angle A, 1 is 70, uh, 47 degrees. A2 is 33 degrees. Okay, so we can calculate basically all these angles here. No, we got enough information. But let's see what they ask us. Okay, with that in mind, let's answer the question. Calculate the magnitude. People, what does magnitude mean? The size. Calculate the magnitude of angle C1. Let's look at C1. We spoke about C1 already. C1, of course, is equal to angle B. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. Okay, so twice angle C1 or C1 plus B plus 47 is equal to 180. Why? Sum of triangles. And it's triangle ABC. Okay, so we're going to say 180 minus 47. Divided by 2. Gives us 66.5. So angle C1 is equal to 66 and a half degrees. Not so. So that is 66 and a half. And C1 is 66 and a half. Or 66.5. Okay. Are you all okay with that? Let's see what question B have in store for us. B says you must calculate F2. Okay, as you can see, we are pretty so space here. So I'm going to take this off the board. And whatever we have here is already on the diagram for us, okay? The reason for that is because we want to keep the diagram in focus. People, F2. Are you going to calculate F2? So F2 is the same as angle C4. But C4 is the same as angle? C1. Why? Vertically opposite. Can you see that, people? And that is the tan for here. Okay. So this is not so complex. So we say firstly that C4 is equal to 66 and a half degrees. Why? Vertically opposite. 66 and a half. And then F2 is 66 and a half. Why? Tan for theorem. Okay. Let's look at C. I want you to calculate angle E. I want you to calculate angle E. But we said angle E is the same as angle C2. Why? Tan for theorem. Are you going to calculate C2? What do you notice here? Exterior angle of a triangle. Do you see that, people? So 66 and a half plus C2 is um, 66 and a half is equal to C2 plus 33 degrees. Not so. Once I got that, we can conclude it. Okay. So C2 is um, um, well, firstly 66 and a half degrees is equal to C2 plus 33 degrees. Why? It's exterior angle of triangle, dot, 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 and it's triangle CAA. CAA. So C2 works out to be 33 and a half degrees. Not so? That's going to be 33 and a half. So therefore, angle E is also 33 and a half. Why? Can go theorem. Just check if I'm correct. The 
Okay, so it's three and a half degrees. Why? Ten and four here. Okay. Is there any confusion? Yes. So you say F1, F1, yes, F1, is equal to E, yes, F1 is equal to angle B, why? So using the, the fact that it's a cyclic quad, huh? but they tell you this is a cyclic quad. Did you prove it's a cyclic quad? No, you're losing everything. Even if the angle is 33 and a half, you lose everything. Why? Because you are assuming something that's not there. Later on, you're going to see something that looks like it's a diameter, but it was not given, or you haven't proven it. You can't use that here. Yes? Okay. Anybody else? Let's spice up our life even more. Get another one. Example 3. People, example 3 is on page? 308. That example 3 is on page 300. We are told that AQ is a tangent. People, if AQ is a tangent, what do we know? If AQ is a tangent, to the circle at Q. Then what do we know? Q1 is equal to P. Why? Tan yeah. put here. Not so. Then, quotes PQ, PQ, and PB are drawn with PB produced to meet the tangent at A. AR is drawn. There. AR is drawn parallel to QP. People in those lines, if lines are parallel, what do we know? We can use? Alternate, corresponding, co-interior. So if you look here, does that mean to say that this angle is the same as? And, then, and we know many other things as well. Not so. So before we read any further, what do we notice here? Right. Sorry, it's not here. Oh, there it is. Right, what else do we notice here? What else do we notice? We actually see that Q1 is equal to angle A2. Not so. So if I had to draw a circle through this here, what do you notice then? If you got a circle, you got a circle, and this angle was equal to that angle, then what, li what is this line? It has to be the engine. Why? Because that's the reverse of the angle theorem. Can you see that, people? So, let's see what they ask us. A or the. Can we tell that AB is drawn? Alright. Let's just take this stuff away, yeah? Lo and behold, the question is prove that RA is the tangent to the circle. A, B, Q. Can you see? That's exactly what we are highlighting. Like Good morning. Can I have your attention, you please? This is the last call for our great teams and 11 students blood. Okay, and as we said that, exactly what we have highlighted is what they're looking for. Chantal Lima, can you please report to the office for a collection? Chantal Lima, please report to the office for a collection. Yeah, let's cut that wire then. <laughs> okay. So, the question says prove that AR is a tangent to the circle AB, Q in A. So, you already see that. You can see that that angle is equal to the same. Not so. So, what are you going to say? We're going to start off by saying let angle P equal X. So if angle P is equal to X, which other angles equal to X? A2. So angle A2 is equal to XY. So alternate angles. With QP being parallel to AR. Okay. 
then we can say that q1 is also equal to x why is q1x 10 for here okay so what we say now we can see that that is equal to that so we say since we state the obvious since angle a2 is equal to angle q1 okay so just to take you one step back again i had this in my mind but the thing went off so many times if this the question you should be asking yourself if this is a tangent to the circle then we would have known that this angle is equal to that angle. Not so. So in order to prove that this is a tangent to the circle, we actually prove that A2 is equal to Q1. Okay. So since angle A2 is equal to Q1, therefore AR is a tangent to circle through BQA. Okay, and the reason is one of two. I can either say, which is the proper or the normal one, is angle between line and chord equal angle in the alternate C. Or we can just say the converse of ten foot here. Both ways you get the two. People with that, you should be able to do exercise 9.6. Okay. Please complete that exercise for Monday's lesson. And your exam will cover up until this exercise. People enjoy the rest of your day. And your weekend, yes. So all the theorems up until here. Okay. Sit down. The full lesson can be found in the description box.